We're going to talk to you today about how to mount the rainwater hub at the correct height on the downpipe so that you get maximum benefit out of your rainwater collecting system. Now, the rainwater hub has no pumps. In fact, it has no moving parts at all and relies purely on gravity to send the water from here almost as far as you want down the garden. Now, because of this, the height at which it's mounted on the downpipe is a very important factor. We are relying on the head of water that builds up in the rainwater hub to generate the pressure to push it through the tap and down the hose to the waiting water butts. Now, if you simply want to relocate your water butts a short distance off the patio, perhaps 20, 30 or 40 feet, what you see here is almost certainly going to be the correct height for that kind of setup. If, however, you want to move the water further distances, as we do in this garden, which is 120 feet long, you may actually want to consider mounting the rainwater hub a bit higher. Now, we're restricted in this garden because the property is a bungalow, and so we've mounted the rainwater hub as high up as we possibly can. Now, this does work, and it gets the water all the way down to the bottom of our garden. If we had had a choice, we would probably have mounted the rainwater hub a little bit higher. Now, at this height, of course, you have very easy access to the filter, which can be an advantage, and we show you how to clean the filter in one of the other videos. But the reason that you should consider mounting it higher if you're sending water over long distances is because the higher the rainwater hub is mounted, the greater the build-up of pressure, which means the water is sent through the hose either faster or further than it would otherwise do if it's mounted lower down. Now, the real advantage of this is not under standard rainfall conditions where the rainwater hub will be sending water out as fast as it goes in, but under very extreme rainfall conditions, it may be possible for water to be going in the top of the rainwater hub quicker than it can actually be distributed out of the taps. What is then going to happen is that the rainwater hub is going to start to fill up until it gets to its overflow point, which is about here in the mechanism. Any excess water is then going to be sent down the overflow and will continue down the downpipe and will be lost. If you can actually mount the rainwater hub up a little bit higher, then of course there's going to be more pressure and there's less likelihood that we're going to hit that overflow point more of the water is going to be saved and going to be sent to the water butts.